Jupiter-like planet outside our solar system has metal clouds which could rain precious liquid gems. Discovered in 2015, the exoplanet WASP 121b is believed to be orbiting a star that's nearly 850 light years away from our Earth. That's about uh, a light year we know is about equal to 9.4 trillion kilometers. To put the distance in context, the distance between the Earth and the Sun is about 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers. WASP 121b, an ultra hot planet outside our solar system, has metal clouds and rain composed of liquid gems, according to a new study led by astronomers from Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. Twice the size of Jupiter, WASP 121b is known to be tidally locked, quote unquote. That means it shows just one side of itself to the star that it orbits. Further temperatures on its day side are known to average about 3,000 degrees Kelvin due to the comparative shorter distance between the planet and its star. Scientists also uncovered that the exoplanet has one of the shortest orbits, taking it just 30 hours to complete a revolution around its star. While astronomers have been studying exoplanets day side since 2015, this new study is based on images showing the clearest view yet of the perpetual dark side as per a press release by MIT's Kavli Institute for Astrophysics and Space Research. The MIT release states that the images of the planet were obtained via a spectroscopic camera aboard NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. The findings were published in the peer-reviewed scientific journal Nature Astronomy yesterday, February 21st. They said hot Jupiters are famous for having very bright day sides, but the night side is a different beast. WASP-121b's night side is about 10 times fainter than its day side, says Tansu Daylan, an MIT postdoctorate researcher and the co-star author of the study. While the presence of water vapor on the exoplanet has been known through previous observations, this new study reveals the patterns through which water circulates between its day and night sides. They said, while on Earth, water cycles by, fir uh, by first evaporating, then condensing into clouds, then raining out on WASP-121b, the water cycle is far more intense. The hydrogen and oxygen atoms which constitute water are broken down on the exoplanet's day side due to high temperatures, after which they float to its relatively cooler, cooler dark side, as per the study, and that's where the uh, uh, still much higher temperatures than those found on Earth. Now, once the broken down water molecules reach the dark side, hydrogen and oxygen atoms combine again to form water molecules, which then float again to the side perpetually facing the sun, the st its star. This to and fro cycle keeps repeating itself. And as per researchers, the exoplanet's water cycle is sustained by winds blowing at a speed up to five kilometers per second. So that's over 11,000 miles per hour. Can you imagine the winds? Interestingly, the darker side of the planet is found to be cold enough to host exotic clouds of iron and corundum, the study says. Corundum is a constituent of precious stones, such as rubies and sapphires. Scientists say that these metal clouds could also travel to the day side, where they are bound to be vaporized due to high temperatures and thus produce exotic rains made of liquid gems, they said. They said, we're now moving beyond taking isolated snapshots of specific regions of exoplanet atmospheres to study them as the 3D system they truly are. This is what Thomas Mikhail Evans explains. He's also MIT researcher, lead author of this study. Mikhail Evans said, with this observation, we're really getting a global view of the exoplanet's meteorology. Extreme temperature differences. The new study also maps temperature profile of WASPs 121b's day and night side, finding the temperatures in the, on the region facing the star vary between 2,500 to 3,500 Kelvin. For the dark side, the temperatures were detected to range between 1,500 to 1,800 Kelvin. That's uh, 1,200 to 1,500 degrees Celsius. Now, while the temperatures on the planet's day side rose with altitudes, they increased with height and on the night side, as per researchers. The researchers claimed the high wind speeds on the planet could probably move clouds across celestial objects 
in around 20 hours despite its massive size. Further, researchers involved in the project claimed that WASP-121b could also have traces of carbon monoxide, a proposition they will investigate later this year with the James Webb Space Telescope that was launched a little while ago. Mikhail Evans said that would be the first time we could measure a carbon-bearing molecule in the planet's atmosphere. The amount of carbon and oxygen in the atmosphere provides clues on where these kinds of planets form. So this is a planet beyond our solar system, and uh, it, this is by Sputnik on, by Daraya Mahashwari. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.